Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Morgan Brennan. Joining us today by phone is Ryan Dietrich. He is Senior Market Strategist with LPL Financial. Ryan, thank you for joining us. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Morgan. So you have brought in a chart today that shows us an important theme for the market in 2018. Walk us through why global earnings growth will be so critical in the new year. Sure. Well, Morgan, you know, when you think about it, there's momentum, there's valuations, there's market sentiment. But what really moves markets over long term? Well, it's earnings. And fortunately, we've seen a resurgence in global earnings here in 2017 with the S&P 500, emerging markets, and developed markets all positive for the first time since 2010. But okay, that's the past. What about the future? Again, fortunately, we're looking at all three of them being positive again next year, and with, with next year as in 2018, when you consider the fact that we just had one a really strong bull market with very, very little volatility. There could be a lot more volatility next year, but with that positive overall earnings overall the entire globe, that's another positive for overall investors as we look into 2018. Yeah, and this is the first time ever the S&P will be up all 12 months total return basis in 2017. It's the first time we've seen that. Are we at peak earnings? Well, we don't think so. First off, that's true. As long as we don't jinx it for tomorrow, we are going to see all 12 months positive for the first time ever on a total return basis. But when we look at earnings, you know, let's take a little look under the hood here. You know, look at what's happening with copper. Copper's up 16 days in a row, breaking out to four-year highs. We've done studies. We've seen as those industrial metals improve, and they did very poorly for years. Finally, we're seeing industrial metals improve. That's one little subtle thing to us that says the overall global economy is really strengthening, mm -hmm. and overall earnings, we think, you know, U.S. earnings here can hit, you know, potentially double-digit growth, and we're looking for even more growth out of emerging markets next year. We don't think we're at a peak. We think we could still have some growth next year. And I want to get more into sort of this global earnings picture with you. But just to sort of wrap it up here stateside, is tax reform and, and the potential impact that's going to have to earnings, is that, is that even priced in looking at these forecasts for next year? Well, we think, yeah, definitely a lot of it could be priced in so far what we've seen this year. And we could have some more rocky volatility next year. But all in all, we just upped our forecast for earnings from about $143 a share to just under 150 based on, again, the tax reform coming a lot earlier than we really expected. And as we look out for 12 to 18 months, there's still a lot of positives with that tax reform that should continue to drive markets higher. Looking at Europe this year, I mean, that certainly kicked back to life. Emerging markets have been on a tear. Where would you be putting your money right now? Sure. Well, we definitely still like the U.S., specifically small caps and financials, because <clears throat> they should really benefit from the overall tax reform. But looking globally, we like emerging markets over those European developed markets for two reasons. We saw about 30% growth in emerging markets this year for earnings once again should have really solid earnings growth leading earnings overall next year when you compare the three u.s developed emerging markets so strong earnings growth huh. and then you look at valuations emerging markets always are quote unquote cheaper because they're really riskier let's be honest at the same time there's still modest valuations in emerging markets and those strong growth uh, growth earnings we think emerging markets is a nice place to find some alpha in 2018 still and in 2017, it's been a pretty rough year for the dollar index. I think it's having its worst year since 2003. But what if that strengthens next year? What does that do to the emerging market story? And that, that's the obvious big question. Now, we've looked into that. And if you have a huge surge in the dollar, like we saw back in 1415, absolutely. That'll hurt emerging markets. That'll hurt commodities across the board. Wherever the camp, actually, we could see a gently higher trending dollar next year as it overall um, as interest rates go higher in the U.S., and the U.S. economy does a little bit better. So as long as the dollar gently trends higher, we think emerging markets can absorb that just fine and, again, should see really significant earnings and all in all uh, probably out be one of the places you want to find out performance next year. All right. Emerging markets, you heard it here first, folks. Ryan Dietrich, thank you for joining us. Have a happy new year. Thank you. Same to you as well. And thank you for tuning in to Trading Nation. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.